Yo. What up? Linen, huh? Wait, can I hear you? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try and change this. Okay. Are you in your apartment? Oh wait, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. I can hear you. Um yeah, I am at home today. But yeah, um, sorry, I know you're already recording, but I'm gonna just try and set myself up real quick and then that's okay. To... No, it's all right. From the first beginning. Thanks for calling me so late your time. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's 9 a.m. there. It's 10. It's 10. Nice. Okay. I'm trying to set up, I'm trying to like find a place where I can stand up because I don't want to sit down and. Oh, yes. <laughs> Is this You're fine? standing up. Yeah, I'm standing up. I, I, the because. Whole time? Well, I mean, I kind of want to because I don't actually have like a chair in my apartment. I just have like you're going you're going full workout mode. You don't you have a bed? Well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like sitting up on my bed with my pillow against the, my back is like yeah, I don't know. It could it, it could get weird. Out. So I just felt like standing up. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go drink. I just put some bone broth in the microwave. I'm gonna drink real quick and then I'm gonna Oh come. dude. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. And then I'll come back That's and talk. All good then. Yeah. Let me just like give me 20 seconds, sorry. <clears throat> Talk NAKO too. See how he's he's doing this year, but he might not even compete because he's in Japan. cut this out this is this is going to be on youtube and i have to get a reminder to cut this part out i'm, I'm gonna forget you guys are gonna see all this how long is this gonna take it's bone broth drinking bone broth you guys just start shooting the shooting the cows in the backyard just drinking the blood from there you know that's the next step. Sorry, guys, just skip ahead. I can't entertain you for that long. Looks like the send an invoice. I should have made a protein shake. Sorry, that was it's kind of hot. It's Yo, hot. all good, dude. Did you drink it? Yeah, yeah, it was hot though, but yeah, it took me a little bit. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> but I'm here. What time did you wake up this morning? Uh, five five a.m. I've been dude. I've been having holy shit, the stream is long. <laughs> I've, been, I've been um, you know, coming back from America, and then this month has been my like. I swear that my busiest month with work, um, been going on a lot of business trips lately. I just came back from Okinawa. So I got home really late the other day. And then, um, you know, I usually wake up at four 30, but I've been waking up a little later these past couple of weeks as in like five or five 30, just cause been like busy on weekends and then trying to like actually get quality sleep. So I've been sleeping in. A well, when bit. are you going to bed? Um, nine 30. That's my ideal. And then if I, end up staying up past that because I get home late from something work related or things just go late. Then I try to go to bed by 10. So or 10, yeah. 10 30 max, you know, I want to try and get seven hours of sleep at least every night, hopefully more, yeah. but you know, I try to stick with that schedule, like nine 30, go to bed, but I'm having all my lights off maybe an hour, maybe even all before, like maybe two hours before I even go to sleep just because I want to make sure I, you know, I wind down. And yeah, I've, I mean, I've heard like a uh, human talk about that kind of stuff of yeah, t turning the lights off. But what do you you just what do you do in the dark? What do I do in the dark? Well, well I have. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, you know, I, I I had a lot of people when Zach and I were live in um, in America almost every day. People were asking me like, "What are these? Dude, these are stick." So so because I had these on like half of them and. 
uh, they're like blue, they're blue light blockers. Um, they're, you know, really just like change the colors of what you see at, um, when you put them on, obviously they're orange and it changes the light. So I'll first like dim my lights in my room. Um, I have a lamp on my floor. I don't want to have light on top just cause it's like, well, this, I can, I mean, I don't know. It just replicates some form of light above me, which is like the sun. I don't want my body to think like, oh, that's the sun. And then um, yeah. next day, you know, it's like, I don't want that. So I, I turn all my lights off and then um, have a lamp on. And then I put these guys on if I'm doing anything uh, computer on my computer, like work related in that. Uh... And so I can block that. Obviously, these are really good. But my ideal, this is like, I might sleep. It's not perfect every night. But my ideal is just doing nothing for 30 minutes, like everything off before I, at least I want to go to bed. Like we're yeah. about just lying in my bed or listening to something while I'm, you know, trying to get to bed. I've actually had some instances where I just leave something on and I just fall, I just knock out and then it just keeps playing off throughout the entire night. So that's kind of something I've <laughs> a couple times, but yeah, no, I definitely try to wind down um, a decent amount before I actually am asleep. Cause I want to be asleep by nine 30. And so that means I need to have like pretty much be trying to go to bed at nine. Yeah. So, you know, so nine 30 to four 30 is like seven hours of sleep. Yeah. 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 And hopefully Isn't I'm that kind of minimum. I mean, don't you want it like eight or nine or is seven? Okay. For me right now. No, no I 100% seven for me. I mean, it, it depends on the person, but for me, I've, I've noticed seven is pretty good. And, um, and obviously if I'm, if I'm trying to go to bed, if I'm trying to like go to bed at nine, then I'm getting, a little more than seven at night, you know, maybe I'm getting seven, yeah. 20 minutes, seven and a half, like who knows. But um, for me, seven works well. I, it is definitely my goal. Some, you know, I, it is a, a possible goal for me someday to like, what if I increase to more like regularly on eight hours instead of seven. And then, but for the stuff I want to do right now with my time is, is I need to get up really early every day to accomplish things I want to do before I actually go to work. Because yeah. then that's seven, eight, I don't know, nine hours like at work. And then I come home and it's like, maybe eat, you know, sometimes I eat, sometimes I eat dinner, sometimes I don't, uh, we can get into that later in a bit, but, <laughs> but um, <laughs> we, can, we can do that, that in a bit. Um, and then I wind down and then before you know it, it's already bedtime. Cause I go to bed at nine 30. So it's like, do I, if I'm sleeping more and more, it's, it's good, but sleep is good. But I think I just, yeah. I want to be as productive as possible and i think to be as productive as possible where I, I want to do right now i think seven hours is a good safe point but me. i guess the question is if you're too tired or too low energy i guess it depends on the person right so if, if seven for you feels fine and you don't need to take a nap and you don't feel fatigued then you're good yeah. but if that was in the case then i'm sure you'd push it up to eight to be able to feel you know mm -hmm. if you feel tired all day right i think a lot of it has to do with um i mean yeah, well, it depends on the person, but I, I first, I mean, I don't rely on coffee. I don't rely on caffeine or tea or anything like that. Um, I don't drink any of that. And I also uh, really believe in just kind of resetting your body clock, not, not resetting, but kind of aligning it with your day. And if, if, if a lot of people get up and, and I don't know, have a cup of coffee in the morning or, or get on their phone, right? It, I'm look, looking at my phone. I should just probably just grab it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like looking at blue light in the morning and and all you and i feel like i i guarantee this this would happen to you if you, you get a boost in energy if you just simply just whether it's a sunny day or not today's sunny it's, it's nice but even if it's cloudy it's like when you get up instead of looking at your phone slow yourself to blue light for 10 20 minutes who knows maybe an hour because you know we've all been there we all do that i do you know? 30 minutes of tiktok every morning am i gonna die there's room there no, there's, there's, <laughs> you will die. No, not at all. Dude, I love the. I honestly don't like that I do that. But when I'm in bed and it's warm and I'm half tired and I see some nice soccer highlights, I'm kind of enjoying it. You say the nice soccer highlights? It no, like the nice soccer highlights and all my TikTok feed is just soccer. Oh, like, dude, Maradona. So yeah. I'm not on TikTok. I'm not. I'm not using TikTok in that way. But the YouTube shorts come up. Yeah, oh I can't. God. I can't click yeah. off, dude. They're so the soccer. Oh my god! Yeah, it's so, the best. <laughs> they're so good. But in the morning, you just gotta, you gotta give yourself that time to actually properly wake up. And what I what I what I do, it's like when I wake up at four thirty now. It's like, 
or five, it's like still dark because it's getting it's staying you know, darker later in the morning now. Yeah. And um, so but I still want to get outside because I'm not trying to be on my phone in the dark. That's just going to ruin me. Um, yeah, I, I, I would I'm going to I know that habit isn't healthy. Like, that's no, one I'm not thing. Shit on you, but I'm I know gonna... I know you're not. But <laughs> of all, all the things that I do. Yeah. I could probably stop getting on TikTok right away. Like, I just grab like, my phone. And- even even if you did go on TikTok, even if you did in the morning, what you could do is just simply give yourself 10, 20 minutes to just get outside and do something. Because a lot of people, a lot of people will be like, okay, I'll, I'll get outside, but they get bored really fast out there. Like, what am I doing out here? You know, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm, I'm absorbing natural light, like, you know, waking up and yeah. my body line, like, oh, like I'm up now. Like this is natural light coming onto my face and like on my body, like, oh, I'm bored as shit. Like, I have to go back inside. I'm just bored. Well, you can just play Konama out there for five or 10 minutes. doesn't matter how shitty you are in the morning. Do anything you want. Literally just take yeah. a walk. Use Konama because we all have Konama. I mean, we're yeah. not bored with like Konama, especially if you want to no. just I mean, jam a little get light, bit. Get light exposure. You go outside, come back in. You're wide awake. I mean, I usually I usually go outside. I'm, I'm outside in the morning for at least an hour plus every day, but that's because I'm really used to doing this. Um but you can start really slow and just take like a five minute walk outside um, or just stare outside on your balcony porch, whatever you need just to get, just to literally step outside your front door. That's all you need. Mm. And just expose yourself to natural light for five, 10 on cloudy days, sometimes more. But then after that, your body's like, it knows you, feel good. Up. you feel good. It feel, it feels good. You, your body knows you're up because you just saw natural light be at the beginning of the day. Mm. And, I, and now it's just aligned and you're not seeing like you're, you're not in your bed and you know it's still dark in your room on, with blue light you're like your body's like what what is happening like yeah what, what are you, you know <laughs> like, like this isn't getting so, pumped up on soccer highlights yeah so but but and then but then it's after you come in it's like do you want to still go on tiktok maybe not no there, i mean if i'm gonna it's not yeah it's not gonna happen. maybe not but even if you do well you still got your you still got your yeah. light you know, yeah. and you won't be trapped in your bed. You're, you're going to be standing up. And it's like, how long are you actually going to be on there? Probably not as long as you would have been if you just did it in your bed first thing you woke up. So, um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you could totally change that like pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> We're already getting into what habits I can change. <laughs> well, <laughs> during the TikTok in the morning, I, I know for a fact people are out there doing a lot worse than that. So, yeah, I, I know. I feel that bad about it. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, all right. Well, uh, so you're still in Japan, right? I'm still in Japan. Still in Japan. I've been here for almost a year. I've been here for 11 months. Time has flown by. Time has flown by over here. I feel like when you when we talked last, you were four months in, I think. Yeah. 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 I just were kind of getting I, used to it. I was four months in. Yeah. I was four and a half months. Yeah. Yeah. How's it? How, how, uh, how do you feel about it since then, since the last we talked? Yeah. No, I feel... I feel good. I, I feel like I've become pretty accustomed to living by myself here. Uh, I've gotten to know my area a little bit better. Um, yeah, you know, I have a car now. I didn't have a car last time when we last Let's talked. Go. My world just opened, you know, my world opened up. I can actually go places <laughs> by myself and it feels really nice going to Costco, getting Me. weeks worth of meat. Yeah. So nice go out there <laughs> but um no i've really been uh thankful to i mean like i said in the last one there's like not people my age here um you know there's barely anybody that that's my age everyone's old or young but i feel like i've really had an impact on the kids who play kinama here and the families who live in this area i can i truly believe that um i think a lot of people are enjoying kinama a lot more than they used to since i first started coming here i feel like a lot more people are coming to spike the kinama uh, place i work at in nagai city I, I feel like a lot of people you know i've been able to connect with so many families and so many kids and and yeah. really just the, like the japanese kinama community in general just for me being here i mean just the other day it, um i went to okinawa which is like japan's here sorry japan's here and then okinawa is like a different island down here it's still japan but kind of it's like its own thing it's, it's like hawaii it's it's honestly uh... like hawaii I swear to you. I, if so I got it's like spawned, not really Japan, but it kind of is. Yeah, like, if I because it's like it's like the same thing with America. It's like Hawaii. Oh, yeah, it's like their own yeah. little community. I went down to Okinawa and I saw, like, if if somebody just spawned me in there and there was no Japanese text on the roads or anything, I wouldn't even think it was Japan. I'd be like, this could be Hawaii. Know. This could be some random place. But anyway, yeah. 
I have the opportunity um, being in Japan to meet so many people who either look up to me or I've been following me for a long time. And, yeah. and you know, they just, they get to connect with me and it's, it's really amazing. And I went to, I went to Okinawa and this, this dad who, who has a family, he brought his whole family. We went to this festival. We did this performance at a festival and we were there two days. And this dad, he brings me, he, he comes to meet me and he's been, and he has this mint in package, fresh chant mod, never opened, never played. <laughs> and he told no me, he, was like, he told me, and I, and I've never, I've never talked to this guy online. And I've never known his, I've never known him. He's just this random person. And he, and he comes up to me and says, Nick, I've been waiting. I bought this right as it came out. And I've been waiting for the day that I, I've been keeping it in the box and waiting it for the day so I can meet you. So you could sign it. So but you could how, sign long, it. how long has that been since the chat mine came out? He's been waiting for four and a half years. Four and a like half years. Yeah. And, he, and, he, and he's not like, he didn't talk to me. He's just been waiting patiently. He lives in Okinawa. And and it just like it reminds me that it reminded me like that there's people out there like that. Yeah, like, I, just waiting, just, waiting. Still, you're still they're still waiting for you today. Well, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah but like also it's like sometimes the the people who want to connect with you most are like some touching. Like it was very touching. Like I I really was yeah. so moved. By it. And like sometimes they're not even you don't even know who they are, and it's you yeah. forget about them. It's like your biggest fans are you don't even know them yet, and so. Yeah. It was really, really incredible to go down there and meet that guy along with all the other Okinawan players and just, you know, have that share that moment with him because he's been waiting for so long and supported me since my very first role model came out. And yeah, it was incredible. So it just resonated with me like, wow, it's like really cool to connect with a lot of players in Japan because usually they only see me once a year or twice a year and then it's at a competition and then I go home, which is it's cool, but but now I'm here and I can talk with more people, more people and spend more time with them. And I think people are really appreciative of that. And so am I, because so, everyone's, yeah. you, know, you know, taking great care of me and been so nice. So. so you saw like an increase in, in spike of like the local community coming to play Kanama since you've been there. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah I, I feel that's cool. a lot of people are playing. It's cool because um, more people are playing suites. <laughs> you know, I feel like a lot of people, and I'm not just saying that because I'm on suites, but it's like, more people are playing different Kanamas than just Ozora, which, you know, this place, we have the Ozora factory is like five minutes away from my house. It's like, yeah. 10 minutes away. so that's why this, that's why Kanama is like famous in the guy, but it's cool that, you know, people are playing Ozoras, but also they are expanding themselves to, I guess, being on Instagram, knowing more players in general, knowing more yeah. players and then using them because I, I play suites all the time, obviously, unless I'm going to somewhere for work, I'll use an Ozora. Um, but gotcha. like people are just like, they're just getting to know more of the Kanama world. I feel like slowly, but yeah. surely. So, yeah. Also, yeah. You end up following suites and you'll follow some of the team and you kind of yeah. get expanded. Yeah, exactly. for sure. Really cool. It's really cool. So what's your Kanama schedule, uh, these days? What are you doing with Kanama? These days I am like, are you talking about my personal practice time and stuff like yeah. that? Or... So I, yeah, I, I play when I'm at work, I'm at work, I'm at spike, you know, and sometimes, um, like I wouldn't say I go out every day and practice super tough on like I film grind. Like I don't, I don't film grind much at all. Um, right now I'm either playing Kanama for work at a festival or an event, or if I'm at spike, I'll play with the kids. Um, some, it's not every day where I'm like going out there and like practicing, um right now with Kanama because after KDBC ended um I was practicing for KDBC putting the time in almost uh every single day yeah um at least a little bit and then after that and then I you know I was I was like okay Kanama's like you know it's 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 fun again you know <laughs> and I don't yeah. I, it's more fun yeah yeah I wasn't just doing KDBC tricks and feeling like I had to do KDBC and whatnot and yeah yeah and so I started doing my own thing and and Kanama Right now, I mean, with the busy schedule of my work, it's like I'm playing Kanama. Don't get me wrong, I'm playing Kanama a lot. I'm touching it a lot, but it's not like I'm going out there grinding, setting up a camera, and... filming, going for one set trick. It's either I'm playing with people at a booth, doing a performance. Um, it's more of like that in that regard. I'm playing Kanama in like a different way. I'm just kind of yeah. like in the spreading side of it right now. But um, it's also just because. I have other priorities in mind right now that I want to um, push. And, you know, if I wanted to spend a lot of my, more of my free time on Kanama, I totally could, but yeah. 
I think right now what I'm with like the amount of Kinama I already play, I'm like, I'm pretty satisfied with that. And then also I want to kind of push different things in my life right now. So that's yeah. Fine. Yeah. You mentioned uh, you mentioned that you were doing one. You're trying for one trick every day. Like that was part of your daily practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, I was. Um, was, are you talking about the tyro flip? Yeah, yeah. So I, I set up. I set ninety day goals um, in July, and there was related to, to my life, like um, stuff with my physical fitness uh, endeavors, juggling, uh, being able to go to like five balls, and and then. A couple and then I had you know Kanama. I wanted to do tyro flip in 90 days and I and all these goals to me were ones that I actually thought I could do and if I set like six goals and I was like okay if I can achieve like three of these I'm gonna be really happy and satisfied and I think I achieved all of them except for that tyro flip um, <laughs> that yeah. was now it was I, I I wouldn't even say I was able to put 90 days from that day in because I I got injured a little bit for a week two weeks um with mm. my left arm right the uh, right before I went to America um my like some nerve damage just happened and like my arm just like went numb lost all its strength and um I wasn't able no to way. actually like, calm as well I don't know how that happened it was I just woke up and it literally was like like that it, maybe it had to do something with like exercise but I, I don't know I was I didn't do anything crazy but yeah. anyway so I lost a little bit of time on that and then what I also realized with, with it was tired but it was really fun to like go out there and like get really good at it um because even if I couldn't get the flip, I was still getting really good at the pull up and like, I don't yeah. know. You know that, you're, you're able to, you know, can you do it like first tee? Well, if you were to tell me right now, I probably wouldn't be able to do it first try, but. How many <laughs> but, tries did it take you? Try it. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, also, do you have like a type of down that with a dollar spike? Yeah, I mean, so I was going to get into that. I have, I used to use this a lot for my, my type <laughs> yeah. But I, super dull. I realized, I realized that, um, Gosh, the tools are just so important. The tools, like the tool you're using for this is just so important because this can this can is almost a year old and it's yeah. it may be flat, it's it's just worn out. And I was and I smashed, I was doing the tyro with Nonoka uh <laughs> the other week when she came to visit up here and I just kept I just smashed Kengo's like model. Sorry, Kengo, but I made it a tyro kinawa and it wasn't even and it was so good right off the bat. I was like, how is this better than this? It's already better than this one. Yeah. And I don't know, but it's all about the tools. It's it's it's, it's all about the tools. Yeah, I know people no, are out sure. there like Monty and people are also really good at tire up there. Don't get me wrong, they put in the work, but I mean, man, it's like they've literally cut it off and made it just a perfect flat line and have the yeah. biggest you got a string and like I don't know. Um, it's pretty incredible. But the, pe- the people that do that make sure they have the the correct tools. That's what you're saying. Yeah, like the correct tools are so important. Like you could get real. I could get really good at tire up on this, but it's like, well. I did, and then I smashed Kengo's Kanama on the ground, and I was and it was, it was like way better. It was literally just like magnets, and I was like, "What? Yeah. Oh, why haven't I been doing this the entire time? I could have gotten tarot yeah. flip on this." <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but this is my. It's yeah. it's kind of weird because you almost, I I like you know with my tightrope, I have a video of my tightrope journey journey or whatever, and I wanted to be super proper yeah. with it, so. The one that I did, it wasn't necessarily that dull. I never smashed it once. Like mm-hmm. it was just a kind of super glued spike that was like somewhat dull. Not not even close oh. to the one that you had. But at the same time, it's like there's a level of like, okay, I'm I'm being way too proper and then I'm like preventing my progression. And and I guess I should get credit for that, but like at the same time, uh it took me way longer to learn it, you know? Yeah. No, I mean what I've noticed in Kanama is every Kanama shape is so, you know, everything's better now than it used to be. And, and obviously the heights, everyone comes into Kanama with the tricks being so high and, and things like that. You know, I, I came into yeah. Kanama really good trick was like lunar flip or whatever, but it's always, what I've noticed is, is people, people will sometimes say, Oh, like, Oh, you can probably do a lunar flip on, on, on this, but it's like, go try it on a JK Kanama. Like, you know, like you'll see how hard it is on that. Well, you know what I've noticed is, is people who started on JK Kanamas and go to like bigger Kanamas, they're like, oh yeah, we had to, we had to, you know, we had to do our basics on that back then. That's why we have like the real fundamentals all good and stuff. And some for some people that's true, but if you practice on a better tool, if you just like if you were to practice on this and get lunars dialed on this, like over a long period of time and be like, okay, now I challenge you to do it on a JK or whatever, dude, you're gonna be able to do it. Like, yeah, 
like I pro- like I promise you, that's why people learn yeah. fast because they have the right tools. And and every Kanama yeah. is good now. It doesn't matter what brand you look at. Every single Kanama is good and twenty yeah. times better than it used to be back in the day. And yeah. and people. <laughs> And, and it's, so it's all about just having the right tools. I mean, a practice will take you super far. And sometimes you, you know, you can only practice what you have on hand, but you know, if you have the optimal tool you're using, then you're definitely going to be able to progress at a faster rate than yeah. you would have without it. And that's just undeniable. And what you no, do with your a, type is pretty admirable. Yeah. It, it's good. It's good. I mean, you don't, you don't need a super flat spike to tyro. Like I can tyro, like if you, you know, this yeah. it would take me a little bit. That's where it, that's about off. where it was. Yeah. Yeah. And, but the thing is, is, is the way that I learned, I learned that way. And then if I had a dull spike, I'd be able to do that too. Like your point. Like I, if I went exactly. back to yeah. you know, a better tool, then I, I that would be fine too. You know. Yeah. Like some people. Well, some yeah. Some people exactly think that way. I think when they say, yeah, if you learn how to start up on this in this sharp spike, then you'll definitely be able to do it on the flat one. Well. What if you just did your practice on the flat one <laughs> and then, and then got back to the, the sharper spike? Yeah. And like, oh yeah. I can do it on both now. Cause it's like more yeah. practice for reps, but I think people sometimes get that backwards, but at least with Kanama, I know that to be true. If you have a better tool, then you can just use that and then just get good at yeah. it on any play. So, yeah, I guess there's just always a level with Kanama of like being proper and not yeah. sneaking around, but yeah, I guess it just depends on the exact, the context, you know? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see the tarot. Oh. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, I don't know. I actually don't have that much confidence right now. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to AC up? What are you doing? No, I'm trying to turn my lights on. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I don't know if I'll be able to. All right, we'll give you three uh, tries. You have a few tries. First. Attempt of the day. Oh, dude, it's Nick Gallagher. What you know? Can't doubt him. <laughs> All right. Well. Nice. Wow, I got it. <laughs> yeah. What do you think uh, about what do you think about the tight ropes that are kind of hitting the uh, the tama? Uh, do you do you try not to do that? Are they? I. Yeah, people do that. There they was an think... argument t- t- with Ted Lex's uh, uh, trick of the year. I, oh, yeah. He said it didn't happen, and I believe him. But people were saying that it's touching the tama, like so it kind of helps the balance, you know. I didn't. I don't know if people do that on purpose, but did, uh, yeah, like if it's this close, like so, I'll, I'll sometimes pull up a tie rope like right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't okay, think it, yeah, maybe I don't it's not on it purpose. It's just getting as close as you can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it might help with some stability. Um, people have their sweet spots for tyro, uh, but I, I saw that. I saw that people because I mean it's it's almost too good to be true. It's a triple tyro flip. You don't want to believe it. You know, it's like it's a triple tyro flip, dude. Like, yeah, it's crazy, dude. I mean, what is that? <laughs> yeah, you know, so people don't want to believe it, and and I didn't want to believe it. I was like, oh, it touched it touched the tom. It had to touch the tom. <laughs> I woke up to that and I was like, oh my God. Yeah. So, uh, wild man. It's just too good to, it's almost too good to be true. But <laughs> I, I really don't think people, you know, touch Tom on that, you know. Um, and even if you, even if you did, how much would it actually benefit? Probably not a lot. I honestly don't know. Cause if it touches the Tama, then wouldn't that increase its chances of like, I don't know, knocking off? I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe not. Yeah. But, I personally don't know because I've never done it personally like myself. So, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I guess maybe it's just like this is such an insane trick that we need to yeah. we need to find something. I mean, maybe we'll just have to ask Maharu because I think he, <laughs> yeah, Maharu does. Yeah, he does push it. He does push it really far. He's like, I'm just like, dude, is that is that tire over? <laughs> is that borders? I think he used to do that. So or maybe intentionally. Yeah. So we will have to ask him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he's cleaned up by now, though. Yeah, I want to. We'll yeah, find he's... out a catch and flow. Or are you going to catch and flow? Am I going to catch and flow? Yeah, it's up in the air. I I want to, but the dude, only reason you're I... in Japan, you have to, dude. But that's the thing. I have a. I'm in Tokyo that day, but for a business trip. Uh... It's, it's on the same day, which is the worst feeling in the world because it's like I'm in Tokyo, but it's like I'm not actually where I want to be right now. Yeah. That's... That happened the exact same day as Battle of the Delta. I was like, this is going to be cool if I could go. But 
I was in Tokyo or whatever, but I couldn't actually go to the actual event because I was doing something. Did you go work. like after work and then stay there and take the next day off or something? Yeah, no, it's it well, it's a two day event, so it's like it's a two day oh, not true. catch a flow, not catch no no not catch a flow. Oh, but okay, like Delta my Delta. my work. So oh. yeah, so so it's I think so. I'll 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 try and figure it out. I want to go to to catch and flow, obviously. Um, okay. I just, you know I want to see. Um, but you compete. Yeah, of course I'll compete. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <I'm not> gonna... <laughs> I still play. <laughs> <laughs> Is the up there? Yeah, for sure. No, <laughs> I, I definitely want to go and compete, but um, we'll just have to see. The, the only reason of course I would go no matter what, but the only reason I can is because um, well, I don't know yet is because I have that business trip on the same day. But I think, I think I might be able to swing it. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We'll see. Nice. It would be nice. Nice man. So what? What? Uh, besides Kanama, what other projects you have going on, and besides your work? Yeah, besides my work. Um, so, so Zach and I have um been working on something in the past couple of months, and we've been posting some different things on our stories. Yeah. Um, and we started doing that in August. I feel like just trying to, I guess, address and trying to just like figure out what the Kanama community wants uh and think is thinking right now i've been pretty much posting questions that involve you know what what are you doing to kind of i guess improve your quality of life improve yourself um what like because i know there's canal players who are out there and think these things but like i said i mean it's just me trying to now change my identity to or shift my shift my i guess what i'm trying to say is i have this i have this very high position in Kanama. Like mm. I'm influenced in Kanama. And yeah. it is I mean, if you play Kanama, you probably know who I am. And yeah. the same thing is for Zach. And we've and we've you know built each other up over the past 11, 12 years, almost 12 years. Um and we didn't get here by accident. It's because we had mm. someone with every single day and push each other every single day even if it was conscious or unconscious i know zach and i were pushing each other in some way shape or form with kanama and we got to the top of where we literally are sitting at the top level mm. and not just in skill but in just influence and a following and i know that zach and i have you know had a very positive impact on a lot of kanama world and who we've talked to and it's all great and that's, it's all amazing and I, i'm really thankful to be in this position and that's why I wanted to kind of think, you know, what can I do in this position to essentially give back to the Kanama community that has, you know, helped change my life the past 11, 12 years. And Zach and I were thinking and started posting these, you know, thought provoking questions and essentially just calls to action on just challenging, like, what are you actually doing today? What are you going to do today? Do you actually do the things you're going to say that you're doing and you're going to do? And, and, and just simple questions like that. Like if you had to make a commitment, what would you do? Um, are you taking care of yourself in this way? Are you not? What things do you wish you could drop? What things do you wish you started doing, but you're not? Why aren't you doing it? These things. And and sometimes, you know, I used to be somebody who looked at these questions and, and kind of just dismissed them and just been like, oh, this is kind of corny. This is kind of just BS. And like, I don't want to like actually even think about these. But if you actually took time to think about them and kind of question like what, what is your purpose right now and what are you striving for? And then it's, it helps you just at least get on or at least see this path. And I want people in the Kanama world to kind of just imagine what it would be like if they were to commit on some things they've been putting off or want to work on, but don't know how to, or don't know who, you know, the right people to talk to, or I've even a community for all this, for all what I'm talking about right now, to even have a community that they feel safe talking about these things in. Um, yeah. Zach and I are trying to like to try and to build that for the Kanama community. And what we've been working on for the past few months is essentially is essentially that. Um it, it hasn't this is the first time we're doing this and and we kind of want people to um take kind of just give them an opportunity to work with others who want to better themselves. Cause Zach and I have been not only pushing each other with Kanama, but we've been pushing each other with fitness, pushing yeah. each other with Quality, are you know taking care of ourselves, nutrition, uh, just working together in these regards, improving our quality of life over the past, ever since I personally got back from studying abroad in Japan, which is August 2019. So it's been over four years. 
for me. And, and, and we've noticed so many changes in our values in life where we put our physical health first over pretty much anything. And we've, mm. we are, we've, we, we know we can stay committed in our disciplined people to yeah. improve ourselves in each way. And we want to show Canal players that you don't need to be special. You just need to be willing because, and that goes for everything. I mean, you don't, I mean, we already proved in Kanama that like everyone that plays Kanama already has proven to themselves that, you know, once you stick to something, you're going to get better. I mean, you have literal proof, like literal proof of you getting better over years, months, maybe in a couple of weeks, even if you just started over a period of time where you're like, wow, I put in the time and it's working. Yeah. And, and I want to kind of help people realize that, Hey, that's, that's the kind of energy you need to bring to the rest of your other life. And some people in the Kanama world, I feel like leave a lot of stuff on the table because they're not doing those things. And they also just don't have a community to help them like they did with Kanama. Like Kanama, I've gotten to this point with Kanama and this skill level because I had a community and giving this other sense of community to help people improve other aspects of their life, whether it be their fitness, their nutrition, their recovery, what they do in the morning, you know, things like this, just daily habits, you know, yeah. taking care of themselves. I mean, I think that could go pretty far. And I think Zach and I are trying to offer that to the Kanama world right now. And we are pretty much essentially just trying to challenge others in the Kanama world and kind of like make this an existing thing. Because I know Kanama players, I mean, they don't really know, like, unless you're really good friends with somebody, you don't actually know what they do. You don't, mm. you see their clips online, you know, they play Kanama. What do you, yeah. what do they actually do though each day? Like what, like. Do you, do you know what they, what they do for work or like what other interests they have? Well, probably not because they don't share any of that online. And, yeah. you know, it's a personal choice I mean, you don't have to, but yeah. I mean, it kind of just shuts out the idea of what, what is like, like if someone were to think, oh, I want to improve my fitness journey, like, but I have nobody around me to talk to and, or something like that. I'm just using fitness because it's such an easy thing to, you know, everybody's probably thought about improving their fitness journey once in their life. And maybe they're lost. They don't have anybody to talk to around them. And But you have the Konami community right here. And, yeah. But you just don't know who's actually on that journey because nobody talks mm. about it. And feel, people, people sometimes feel even embarrassed to talk about it or maybe it's not their place to put it online because they're not at the, this God level point yet or just don't want to share their struggles or wins or anything like that. And, and trust me, I feel the same. I, I felt the exact same way until a couple months ago. I mean, I've been using Instagram for solely Konami tricks, stories, that's literally all I posted for 11 years for 11 yeah. whole years. That's all I did. And so I'm, I'm trying, I'm breaking this, this box I put over myself for the past 11 years to essentially just tr share other thoughts and other things that I believe in other things that I do in hopes to encourage others to do the exact same and kind of just make everyone realize like, Hey, there's other people out here who are going through the same things as you who have the same thoughts of improving yourself in this way, in this way, in this way, or just people who want to help you in general. And I kind of want to start leading that idea that it's okay to be more open about other things that you do and other things you try. And then just essentially taking the chance to like ask for help, you know, ask for help. Like, yeah. hey, like how can I actually be better at this? And putting that online I mean, and having people actually come help you because Kanawha players are really nice. Like nobody's here. Nobody's in the community is going to like take you down and stuff. I mean, well, I don't want to say nobody because... You know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, but our community is you know very it's 90 percent very positive and Super nice yeah it's it's really it really is incredible and then and it also i would just like i think people could connect a lot more on a personal on a personal level if you just start talking about these things because zach and i started this community actually already and we have this group chat going with uh several players in the community who have, who have taken you know this this plunge into this this step into essentially just improving their quality of life in terms of whatever they want to work on. Like some people are want to get better at, you know, with their food habits and what some people want to get better at their fitness. And some people want to just essentially be prepared to move for as long as possible because they want to be mobile and things like that. And everyone has their different goals, but what Zach and I want to do is essentially just help you be, stay on that path. Like we don't want yeah. to force you on one path, but we want to help you keep playing Kanama, you know, be a Kanama player, but also raise the standards of where you hold yourself to as a person, because I feel like we all owe it to ourselves to put in the work on our, essentially our physical self and work on our mental and physical 
and just kind of hold ourselves to like a higher standard than where we are right now, because I think it can the economic community. Personally, this is what I think. Um, I just think it's not as professional as people, I guess, hope for it to be someday. Cause I know a lot of people ask for it to, you know, I really hope it's going to be in the Olympics someday. Or I really hope it gets to this level. And, you know, something's got to change really big. Something, something has to change, you know, in a really drastic way for this to happen. And I'm not saying we have the keys. I'm not saying, you know, I have the key to me getting to the Olympics. You know, I'm not saying that. But if you want to raise the standards of Kanama and the players who compete within it, well, then we have to raise the standards of our own well-being in a sense. Because you're not going to send 10 people to the Olympics to represent the United States when, well, half of them are overweight have them do drugs or, or like do some form of to, some form of these things, you know, don't take, you know, whether it be alcohol, something like that, something that's like not doing, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like shitting on alcohol in a way. I'm not saying like never drink this or never drink that, but like, you know, clearly not taking care of themselves to a the significant standard that an Olympian actually would, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm just saying, and like, it's just, I could take it to that extreme, like saying Olympian level can all players, but just if you look at the Kanama community, it depends on who you look at, but you wouldn't look at every single person and be, oh, that, that guy's playing Kanama. That means it's fun. Mm. Like, oh, that guy's playing Kanama. Oh yeah. Well, he's a little bit like he, he's, he's not, you know, he doesn't look like he's taking care of himself, you know, all that much and looks really kind of hag. And, mm. and that might, de- that might not attract people to Kanama. And I hate to say it, but I, it's just true. And, and the better you, and that, this goes for everything. I mean, if you, the better you look and the better you hold yourself to a, like a standard and to, I guess, just take care of yourself physically, the more you're going to be respected. And that, and that's, it's, I think that's just simply a fact with everything people try to promote. Yeah. But and, what do you think about Kendama for some people? If you look at this, I mean, there are sports in the Olympics, especially recently, like uh, BMX, skateboarding, snowboarding, which is more of like a, kind of culture type sport you know where they're not necessarily recruiting the most clean cut uh yeah. up uppity people it, it's yeah. more it's, a lot of snowboarding guys are just like straight up chilling and of course they're like no, yeah yeah 100 no i mean like i said i don't want to like get on everyone's ass for for drinking or smoking i mean that's like a culture for some for places i mean it's literally the culture of what people do in Japan. I mean, I was looked at as weird. Like I was actually looked at, are you okay for not going to like the drinking party after uh, the festival last week? You know, like, are you yeah. okay? Are you 20? Like, are you, you, must, you must not be of age yet. And I was like, no, like I'm, I, I just don't want to, I just don't want to go. But um, yeah. I, I just, I, I think that in some more simpler terms, I feel like if, if canal players put more, put at least a fraction of the time that they did into Kanama into, I guess, bettering themselves and challenging themselves to be better mm. um, physically, mentally, you know, with their nutrition, their, their rest, recovery, their sleeping habits, things like, things like these just right at the top, um, you could become a much more, I think, valuable person. I think yeah. uh, it just to be simple, just simply put, I mean, if someone's got their shit together and someone doesn't, who, I mean, you know, I'd rather go with someone who's got their shit together in those four things or those regards as a canal player than the person who doesn't and kind of just is a little, just, you know, all over the place with what they do. And um, there's a lot of different types of people out there, but I feel like in my opinion, I'd, I'd rather hang out with the people who are on top of their own physical and, and take care of their self rather than the people who don't. Yeah. Um, What to, to be like specific with, what you can bring to the community because you you kind of mentioned a few things uh over and over again with uh working out sleep um yeah. food you think are those your specialties because i mean i think my entire life with work especially with my relationships with my family with my wife there's there's so many avenues that i can yeah. you know and of course working out and food i can i can choose to improve myself but you and zach what do you feel like that you can really zone in is it everything or is there like specific things that you can really help people with the main thing and i'm not going to say i'm a specialist in any of these things because okay. even though i have i'm not i'm not trying to say 
I have all the answers. I'm not trying to say I have this one standard that everyone needs to meet and it has to be on my standard or else you're not going to make it or else like, I don't care. Like, that's not what I'm yeah. trying to say. Um, I want to, what I know that Zach and I can bring to the community is literally just a, a place to have people be okay with talking about these things and, and make it more mm. prevalent in their lives. Because some people mm. want, some people want to do these things. I mean, I've already, I've already, we've already started this. Zach and I've already started this, uh, this yeah. small community, people who want to, you know, improve their quality of life. And, and with these Kanawha players, if you would have never thought, you would have literally never thought they were even thinking about these things mm. because they only know Kanawha tricks online and they only, you'll see them at events. And it's pretty incredible. I'm already extremely excited listening to everyone's goals, listening to the people's, you know, what they want to improve on. And this is, this is kind of it. I mean, I'm not saying I'm, I'm an expert on fitness. I'm not an expert on eating. I'm not an expert on sleep and I'm not an expert on Kanama in some ways. Well, I've been playing Kanama for 11 years, I, but you know, I'm not going to say I know all the, just any of these things, you know, but if the most important thing is to just get people thinking about it, you know, get people, mm. make it, make it con a conscious, make it a conscious effort instead of having, you know, days flow by without you even considering what you can do to improve yourself in this area or this area, just like having it on the table. People don't even have it on the table, but Zach and I want to bring this community um, and make it a thing because I think that's mostly of what it's just what it takes to kind of initiate. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do this or like, I want to get started on this and oh here's this person who who is actually two steps ahead of me what can i learn from them you know yeah or, or i'm two steps ahead of this person how can i teach them or we're on the same path let's go through this together you know they, they're just giving people to talk to and kind of work through these we'll just call them problems right now but i mean not they're not actually problems they're just like different steps in your journey of getting to that place you want to be and and it's just putting people on that path because you could say yeah i'm working on myself and and I'm doing it all by myself. And that's, that's okay. I've tried to do that too. You know, you can get to some place, but I've, and, and, and sometimes, you know, you can get to a decent place, but you can always go farther together with other people. And, and yeah. you know, that's, that's just, it's just simply true. I mean, yeah. even if you're just going with a regular gym partner to the gym, or you have someone to talk about when you're eat, what, with what you're eating, you know, that means, yeah. I mean, you're literally consciously thinking about these things because you have other people who are maybe holding you accountable or you think they're holding you accountable um, because you're already so close. And in these endeavors, like Isaac, like, what if you didn't go to the gym on one day and your buddy was like, what's up? What, where, where were you? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well now you have like, it's just making everything more of like a conscious thought in your brain. And I feel like Zach and I are just trying to bring a community of people who strive for these things and make it more apparent yeah. because I think there's people out there in the Kanama world that want to do these things. Yeah, no, that's really cool. Uh, it's really cool that you guys are doing that. And it makes a lot of sense to me. I mean, um, just in my head thinking that, okay, I found so much value in pushing myself to progress Kendama and get better at Kendama. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that I look forward to that every day, right? Like I look forward to playing and pushing and I, it's it's a positive feeling to look back on my progression. And so you're, you know, I can I can also do that with, working out right with like getting fit whether it's like a specific pull-up record or if it's you know losing losing weight or if it's gaining weight um and then you're saying too i mean you can do that with improving so many other things in your life just so similar to kanama but yeah. it's just kind of bringing everything together in a in a community yeah yeah and you just don't have to yeah and like you don't have to go alone i mean you can you can reach out to zach and i if you want help with anything, literally any question, or be, don't be afraid to reach out to your friend or whoever, you know, who else is in your close circle, like they will listen to you. And if they don't, yeah. well, maybe they're not actually in your close circle. Maybe you need to talk to somebody else, but yeah. there's people out there. It's just like, you just ha can't, you know, it's better to always go with somebody else because you can only make it so far going alone. And I know that for a fact, because I've had a brother my whole life. And when I came to Japan by myself, I felt a lot slower and the things I wanted to progress yeah. in and somebody's somebody's not there by my side every day you know either getting after it or making me just think like oh i need to get better at this or like you need to like strive for this you know i i came here by myself for a couple months i was just i felt like stagnant and yeah that's yeah i just know the two the two 
comparatively to each other. And I know it's always better to have somebody else. And Zach and I have had each other for our whole life and we want other people to have uh, other people uh, there for them as well. So that's what we're trying to do with the community that we're trying to build. Yeah, that's really cool. And it's kind of an interesting philosophical thought too of how motivated would you be if you were only by yourself? You know, like the big question, I feel like a lot of people have thought of this, but this when you know, for some reason, but if you were trying on a desert island, like, would you be playing Kendama still? And everyone is like proud to say like, and even me at some point, I was like, yeah, I would I'd do this for me and I play for me. But at the end of the day, I don't think I would. If I really think about it, you'd probably be like, get me the fuck off this island. But like, I guess even to, you know, t- like take the hypothetical, like, yeah. are, do you play just to see you improve you know just just for you and you know maybe that's a little bit off the, the question but like i mm-hmm. think a lot of people are misunderstood when it comes to that that i think it's not a bad thing to be to, to feel that you only can be motivated by other people and like of course you want individuality you don't want to only play for instagram but like yeah. uh people I guess in that regard, not to get too vague, but I think people can take for granted like other people and then take their own progression yeah. for granted. The fact that you're, you're looking to, you're really, you know, want, want to impress the people you want to move Kendama, you want to move the community forward. And that's not really a bad thing, you know? Yeah. But it's also, yeah, because it's, um, but it's also like, well, there's nothing bad with, trying to catch up to your friend or trying to push because they're pushing. There's nothing bad about competition yeah. because competition changes you and, and pushes yeah. the game. And if we're talking economic, I mean, if I didn't have Zach, I would have quit. You know, I know that to yeah. be true. And, and, if, and look, oh, I had somebody my whole life. Well, now look where we got. It wasn't an accident. I mean, we had, we yeah. play each other all the time. And yeah. Zach and I have, I mean, Zach just posted a couple of stories the other day. I mean, he's, he's placed top three in every single event he's gone to in the past entire year. And, He's placed in many competitions, probably more than not. Um, yeah, all his That's whole career. Really cool. yeah. And and I, and if we're and I've won, I can't even count. I I, I forgot. Like I, I can't even count how many competitions I've won. And it's, I know. And it's like what? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know how many I counted. Right. <laughs> do you want to do you wanna see? <laughs> no, but, you? no, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's fine no i don't all right, all right. no but um yeah i forgot you did that <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it, it, it's just and and that's just the competition it's like you can you can be so much and, and and people might just say oh i don't i don't care about competition i don't care about placing in kanama events that's totally fine that's yeah. totally fine but if you're not that type of player as like because if we're on the topic of just kanama players right now that's that's still totally okay i mean you yeah. don't have to win all these competitions you don't have to be the best competitor but you are who your you know your environment is really really important and who you talk to, and yeah. and people you know how I, I play for myself I don't care who's like getting you know like I don't I don't need anybody else like so you know, I, I just do for my I do for me and whatever and, and it's like do you do you really do it for yourself I mean are you sure you're not influenced by other people on the internet yeah. or people in your close circle like inspiring you you're not you're not you're not like oh I I, I need to catch up to them or like I'm yeah. really inspired by that guy's trick or uh, this guy's just an amazing person in the economic community. I just want, I'm, I just like talking to this guy or like this person. Are you sure it's just by yourself? I, I feel like, I feel like it's your environment and who you, yeah. you surround yourself with. That's the kind of player you're meant to be. And um, I feel like it's really important to just have your environment um, just kind of dialed to make it, a, I guess, make it positive. Um, that being said, I think there, there are, I can think of like two players that for certain don't worry about anybody else and don't play for anybody else, which is really, it was just fascinating to me because I would yeah. never be able to yeah. motivate myself. But like one of them is Albert and yeah. like, like the way that he plays, you know, you, you like from uh, Finland, yeah, 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 like everything is his, his own. Th- and, and when he goes to an event, he doesn't even play that much. Like he, like when I go to an event, I'm motivated to play. I see everyone lacing these tricks and I go back, you know, home the next week and I play. For him, he's just like so quiet and finished and just like walking around and <laughs> and like you know. And, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. But then but then like you see his tricks and there's like I guess he juggles. So yeah, I guess there is some influence, right? But like for the most part, but I but it just is a certain it's 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 way more infrequent than it is frequent. You know, these are like individual specific people. 
No, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's outliers, you know. There's, there's outliers, outliers. Yeah. who can play by themselves the entire time and 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 kind of be okay with it. But that's that's not most people, and that's definitely no, not it's, me. It's and I know, yeah, and I, and, yeah. but but then it also begs the question. It's like, well, they've been playing by themselves their whole life, or they they're okay with that. But what if, what if you're exposed to more of a community or more like into an yeah. environment or had more people yeah. to push? You? It's like you've already gotten this good. What could you do more with other people? Yeah. Like, what could you yeah. do with a group? How far? How much more farther could you go? And so that yeah. just just makes me think about that. Yeah, like 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 you know, already the, the Instagram community is already huge, right? Like, if I didn't have that, I wouldn't have gotten where I am now. But then I can imagine just what you're talking about, like a more tight knit community that's like minded and uh, you know whatever. Yeah. yeah. Oh, are you referencing the thing that Zach and I are trying to build? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I can imagine oh, yeah, yeah. that would be even more valuable, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's just kind of, I mean, that's 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 a little, that's like we're trying to build a community within the Kanawha community of people who, yeah, because Zach, right. Zach, Zach and I could have gone out there and tried to make this for everybody, but we're really trying, and like not just a specific niche, but I mean, Zach and I want to, you know, help. I mean, Zach and I care about the Kanawha world, you know? And like yeah. we want to care about the community and, I want to try and help build it up in the best way that I know I can. And I feel like this is the first step. I mean, Zach and I are, this is the first time we're doing any of these things, you know, we're, we're, we're learning on this path as we go and teaching people, te- teaching and like kind of leading this project is already helping us learn so much. And so yeah. I'm excited going down this path. And I'm, I know for a fact that other people are as well, because people are already stoked that like, God, it just feels so good to share these thoughts that I've been holding on to for so long or and actually have people to talk to about these things because it's not just something you can go on Instagram and feel present, feel just completely fine about every day and going on like, yeah, you know, I, I struggle with, you know, exercising or I struggle with like eating. I have this bad habit of doing this, this, and this. I want to eat more, but how do I do that? Like people don't feel like people don't talk about those things very vulnerably online ever. Like, especially not in the yeah. Kanama space. They're like, oh, this isn't the place for that. This is Kanama. You know, I don't know who to yeah. talk to. Like, but Zach and I are just trying to give a space for people to, um, make these conversations um, real and present and then just kind of just working together just like in Kanama to just build each other up so yeah um, that's kind of what we're working on yeah. uh, I want to talk about KWC but I'm going to grab something real quick yeah 100% yeah ready for this question I'm ready <laughs> prepared yeah I looked at all the top 10 players already did you <laughs> yeah I got this <laughs> what you mean for KWC or just in general oh <laughs> <laughs> that's another question too right it is it <laughs> yeah remember i always ask people like top 10 uh top yeah, 10 I players <laughs> <laughs> i came ready for the kdbc top 10 <laughs> okay gotcha gotcha dude i uh i'm home right now and yeah that's incredible dude there was this massage this massage thing that i cannot like take off my body <laughs> dude it works it's like so nice for your back i just saw it in the corner of my shoulder was gonna hurt him so you put it around your back and then you grab the sleeves and i just imagine like the rest oh. of the interview just having this and then you can kind of like oh my god and then you can just kind of like dig it into your back Okay, this looks ridiculous. I thought it was gonna be like way more like hidden. No, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this isn't that bad. But I'm getting like an insane back massage while I talk to you. Let's go. All right. So last time we talked, you were going uh pretty hard for KBC. Um, you end up getting fifth. You put in like how, you know, I, I guess we talked I think before the tricks came out. We never saw the tricks. And then, uh, and then you're like, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to, you know, I have time. I'm going to do the best I can. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put in X amount of hours every day. Yeah. So I guess before even the event, what was the the practice? Like what, what, uh, you know, how much did you end up practicing? Did you fulfill the goal that you put in to yeah. do the work that you wanted to do? I put in as much practice as I, you know, could and felt, or sorry, I'll just start with this. The tricks came out in oh, beginning of May. We'll just say that yeah. in April, May, and then 
interview was in March and I was, you know, I know what I said back then. I was like, wow, it'd be really nice to be Takia and, it, and it'd really be nice to be, you know, come out in first. I have, I have time and, and all these things. And, and I, and I meant everything I said and then the tricks came out and, um, you know, I definitely, you know, organized my prelims. Um, first, my first year doing KDBC with these new rules, they're not so new anymore, but like, you know, the, Oh yeah, because you didn't go online, right? Yeah, the yeah the um. Well, I did online last year, but oh was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But anyway, yeah, it was whatever. Um, that was kind of you know, eh. but but the first rule with like you know first every year with the new rules of having to do shit in order, um, you know, no wild card, no sorry, not no backup tricks this year, um, everything like that. It's just like a new thing for me. So, organized our prelims, got those down. I started at ninety five, realized. I don't need to do that. I'm a seed. I can just go 90. I don't really care. I want yeah. to make it. I just want to focus on finals. So I made my 90. And then for finals, I mean, it's it it was challenging. It was challenging to do this, this new rule. You can't just switch between tricks to get, gain momentum when you're stuck. If you switch, you don't get full marks. And full marks is huge. It's huge. So can you explain uh, the rule difference between uh, this year and then the previous years? Yeah, it's all, I mean, it's simple. I mean, uh, the, the, I'm just going to talk about finals, uh, cause the prelims don't really change that much. Prelims just had backup tricks. Um, yeah. Pre- Where if you couldn't do a trick, then you could just skip to your backup and then you get a yeah. point just decrease or no, you can essentially pick six tricks per round instead of five. Yeah. Okay. And then you can right. pick out of those five. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and then in finals, uh, in years past, you can do a trick in any order you want. Um, there's no full mark bonus. Oh that, yeah. That you can really do any single trick you can switch. I can, I can be failing two turn airplane, double J stick. I could be failing that switch, hit a quick whirlwind, go back, do that trick yeah. go back on my way. But you can't do that with the new rules. You have to set, you have to literally submit a finals list to them the night before, and you can't stray from that final list. Um, so I submitted my, so I, that was the first time for me. Uh, for doing that and it, it was really weird because you have to think about all these things like is this the right order like am i going to do this trick here here or am i going to even do it at all like because you can't just you can't just be like oh, i'll give it a couple of tries and if i don't land it i'll just skip it and go i'll just do a different trick i can't i can't just hail mary a trick like mm. you have to be good at every single trick you put have your run down yeah i mean not every i'm not going to say everyone went for a full marks run like people were super okay with skipping and stuff like yeah. that in order to win you're not gonna win by doing that and and, and people okay who win want to get full marks and you saw takia go for full marks and he got 29 tricks out of 30 you can you can set up the third you can set up to 30 tricks you can have 30 tricks yeah. max he got 29 which he ran with a 30 trick list that's kind of insanity like max he, to do i guess he wanted to win he wanted to get full marks and he yeah. went for it all and he went for it all i mean he went for i mean you saw his first 15 tricks his first 18 like they were all he did them all in like a minute like he like yeah. he literally he got them all first try pretty much and he was so fast he's so fast and and um he unfortunately couldn't get all of his 30 tricks but i mean he still won that's yeah. a pretty impressive thing. i mean i'm not gonna lie not everyone gets full marks i mean i missed my full marks by one you know if i were to go full Your marks five, I, you missed the five still i missed the five still and that was that was tough because that was my own trick but uh how many yeah, how many tricks did you go for um 24 shoot i have to go look man i i forgot so not 30 but not 30 not 30 no 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 but um no it really got me it really got me thinking about the importance of the order because well what if i because you know like what if i just did a level five instead of that instead of that instead of that five still i would have got full marks and i don't think i would i don't i wouldn't have won but i'm pretty sure i would have got fourth third second but i mean well i was also going but it also just you could say there's all these what ifs and stuff like if i were to fit that five still yeah that 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 level 12 plus full marks which full marks by the way is every single trick in your list like say i had a full marks list of one level six one level eight and one level six that's 20 points right if that's Mm. that's like that's like those that's that's like six plus eight plus six is 20 and so you get you know, 36 plus 64 plus 36, that's your final run score, plus full marks bonus, which is 20 points of all those tricks just okay. added up. One. That's that's the full marks bonus, you know? Gotcha. So, 20- so the bonus, so your tricks are added up by squaring each each level, but then the bonus is the face value of the trick added up. 
Yeah. 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 Okay. So that it's huge. So, it's like it's like an extra level eleven or twelve on top of your whole run. Oh much. wow. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. Think about it like that. Yeah. yeah. So what would have what would have happened if we go through the what ifs? If you yeah. if you landed the the five still and you got full marks bonus, uh, would you... I would have uh, lost by like. 10 points or something, 12 something points. Like it would have been really close, but I would, I would have got second. Yeah. yeah, I would have got second. But and then like said, if you, yeah. and then if you uh, didn't put the five still in, but then you got full marks. Dude, I haven't, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, maybe you would have I, said the same or no, you wouldn't, you couldn't have said no, the same. No, because I would have got all my tricks plus a hundred something. Uh, I, see. I mean, so maybe you, you've jumped up a place or something. I'm, I would have jumped up uh, a place for sure. But I mean, there's all these what ifs, but that's, that's yeah, what I'm but saying. Yeah. You have to be so precise on what you, um, when you start and when you, when you, when you set, I mean, I'm just looking at the, oh yeah. Yeah, I definitely, oh wow. I might've got third, but anyway, whatever. It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter. Um. You, it's just tough it's just tough to set like what are you confident with and and uh, before i move on to who i'm like who i thought was like pretty impressed with uh at kdbc and talking and, and i'll talk about those things but uh, to answer your question I, I caught a lot of you know i got away from it was the practice and stuff yeah. i practiced i made it a goal of mine to practice um at least a little bit every single day where i actually had time to and i'd say i executed that pretty well i wouldn't I, you know some days i practiced just prelims a couple times, then went home. Sometimes I practiced finals. Sometimes I practiced just finals. Sometimes I spent an hour. Sometimes I spent 30 minutes. But the goal for me, it, it because my mindset changed a lot, you know, during that time. And I was questioning, like, do I, like, I I can't, I, I, just, I came to terms with myself, like, I can't practice like I used to back in 2018, you know, when I was just like, hours and hours and hours a day just doing that playing Konami for you know practicing for two three hours most days and, and stuff like that I was like okay it's not actually it's just not fun enough for me to push myself that hard but even if it's not fun right now I'll still push myself to at least you know yeah because it, sometimes it, it's not it doesn't have you know it's not always going to be fun but I mean I know what I said in your interview yeah. like I knew what I said and and I knew what I and I knew I had to try and I and I did and I, and I tried my best yeah. and you know I, when I came out of the end result didn't get full marks was really bummed on that because that's what I really wanted. I just wanted full marks. I didn't care. I just wanted that, yeah. but I didn't get that, but I still walked away with fifth and I was like, wow, you know, I, I, it wasn't the most fun three months ever of practicing. It wasn't the most fun I had with Kanama, but it was fun to, you know, go up there, leave a good run and finish top five again. I mean, it, it felt really good. And yeah. I mean, I definitely wanted top three. I definitely wanted to win. Um, but yeah, I wasn't able to do that, but I, I mean, I mean, I, I'm not saying like, oh, I wish I should have done this or whatever. No, it's like, I tried my best and what I, you know, what I felt I thought my best was. And well, I got a result that was, you know, not bad. So um, it's, it's a really interesting question about the level of fun when it comes to playing Kendama, because I mean, it's gotta be like on a scale for a a anything. Like, I mean, if you're having the most fun, how much are you actually progressing versus yeah. If you're having, if you're really like, I mean, the times that I feel that I've just been pushing myself and I'm frustrated and it's not fun are also the times that I progressed a ton. And I think that yeah. actually I was studying like dopamine. That's actually a lot how it works. Like even Huberman, I I, I was watching the Huberman podcast about dopamine. Yeah. And he says like, if you just feel frustrated, that's going to increase neuroplasticity, which is insane. Mm -hmm. Like that feeling yeah. of frustration, you know? So no, yeah. how do you do that calculation? I mean, compared to 2018, how much fun were you having compared to now? You know what I mean? Like, how do you figure that? Well, here's here's how I can figure it out. It's um, back in 2018, my only things in life were Kanama and school. And then I graduated school, high school. And then I had a month and a half of just without, without school, I just had Kanama in summer. I didn't have yeah. a job. My parents, I'm, I'm young, you know, I have all this time and Kanama was my main interest. You know, I, I quit soccer by then and Kanama was all in. And so yeah. Kanama was super fun for me. And I was going through this time where I was, you know, having a really good run with competitions and I had just gone pro and, and I, you know, I had all this momentum and I was posting so much and playing so much and filming and going to all these events. 
And I just felt so inspired and Kanama was fun for me to play hours and hours and hours a day. And yeah. I mean, it was amazing. It felt incredible. And now, now I, you know, I have this Kanama job and I have, I'm 23 and now, and I have other interests. So it's yeah. like, I want to, I, I was practicing, like it got, it got to the point where I have these things, other things I want to do in my day. And the only time I get, I reserve Kanama, you know, play is when I'm practicing. Mm. And so that's why it wasn't as fun. It's because like, I'm going to play yeah. Kanama today. I'm going to play Kanama today for myself. I'm not like, I'm going to reserve Kanama time for myself, not for the, the kids or like for the events. Like yeah. this is it. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to practice. And so that's where I was like, okay, like maybe I don't want to practice all the time, you know, but like, yeah. I still play games. Um, and in 2018, you had so much time to have fun, yeah. to play for yourself, but then also to practice. Yeah. Like I could go a day, I could film, I could sesh and I could practice all in one day. <laughs> and get fucking stoked and then go on instagram live later <laughs> yeah right right my classic yeah. 2 a.m sesh like you know like come on but yeah. but that's it that's kind of where it is now it's like i just have other priorities other passions other hobbies yeah. that i do well and that bring me more fun in those areas so um you know it's a really about- good uh it's a good lesson for even other hobbies and in, in the gym and everything of yeah. the level of suffering versus the level of fun and suffering maybe is too big of a word but uh yeah. the yeah the level of like i need to do this you know david goggins all mm-hmm. pain right versus like how much actual enjoyment out of this you know because yeah i mean obviously people have different takes on it but yeah. um but like the point is is that it's so transferable to other goals and hobbies you know mm-hmm. Of what right. you want to achieve. Not, yeah. And it's not like, I mean, KDBC, it's like they give you the three months to practice. I mean, the longer you have time to practice, the more you're thinking about shit, I need to practice. You know, it's not like, and for, for things like, and, and for smaller things like, you know, I need to do this today, like, you know, whatever it be, they could like push through for yeah. a little bit gym. It's like, it's much shorter. It's like, yeah, it's much, shorter. it's like you just need to push through for a little bit the shit that sucks. And then you're going to feel that effect later. It's going to come like choose it between two meals is like a relatively simple thing. It takes, it's just like, okay, I, you know, obviously I, I I'm craving this, but this isn't healthy. I'm going to choose the eggs, yeah. whatever. And you eat it. But yeah, versus yeah. three months of like yeah. continually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So three months is a, it's a, t- it's a long, it's a long grind, but I mean, yeah. cause it's just, even if you are practicing, it's like, well, it hasn't passed yet. You know, it's like still in your yeah. mind. It's like you should practice right now. Or like, I should probably like, it, it, it's like, if you're playing normal Kanama for some people, it's like, Oh shit! I kind of feel like I I need I should be practicing right now. Like I'm not I'm not yeah. like most you know. And I know that yeah. I'm not just speaking for myself. I'm speaking for like a lot of players out there who try to do the best at KDBC because that's just how it is. Yeah, that's just yeah. How it is. But yeah. Okay, so uh, you get to the pre jam at uh, that one Kanama shop. I forget what it was called. You may. You may. Yeah, and that's where that's when we met. Um, yeah. That was a really You're good time. Awesome. Yeah. Did you say? You were like chest filming. That's what we, yeah, that's what it's called now. Yeah, that was super fun. That was a fun day. Yeah, and then uh, so you know what's funny? I was talking to Rolf. I don't know how well you know Rolf from, you know, old Chrome guy. Yeah, I mean, of course I know Rolf, but you know. yeah, 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 yeah. But he he was talking about how he played. He won a lot of money. He haven't he hasn't ever lost a bet, which is probably a huge exaggeration. But he's never lost a bet because on comp day, whether it's at KWC or whatever. He can feel the energy of this certain player who's going to win. Like he bet, he was giving like twenty to one odds, and Bryson Lee in twenty seventeen, whatever Bryson won twenty sixteen. Yeah, uh, and then he ended up winning. But uh, when you ran into Takuya that 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 day at the jam, what what was the uh, inter- <laughs> the exchange between you two? Did you guys talk or what happened? Taki and I don't really talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really talk too much that guy's like a he's like he's like the shit he always wears dark he's like he's got yeah. like this they don't really smile too often and no. he's like this he's like the i don't want to say the villain but he's like the anti <laughs> like he, he's like he's like something there's like you know <laughs> there, yeah. there's not like a class i mean we all we all know who we all know who the best in the world is you know we know it's yeah. t- we, fuck you. we all know it is and and it's it's not like you know it's not like oh shit like we're like eyeing each other up, but it's it's just something like 
Like I even went to this competition in, in September, like this, this small competition just right before I went to America and he was there. I barely talked to that dude. I mean, he just, <laughs> to, to be fair, he doesn't, he doesn't really talk to many people. No, he's he just doesn't. There. I try he's to there. talk to him and yeah. yeah, he doesn't talk a lot. He's just there to film for you. He's there to do taps. He's there to kick your ass. I mean, he's, and then he's like, and, and, he, wins all the and he goes home. He wins the money, <laughs> he goes home. Yeah. So, so he, he has a couple yeah. close friends here, but uh, that day, I mean, and you just walk in and you just see the greatness of taps in your face. Like he just does a shit ton of taps. He can do every single trick in the whole book. You're wrong. He can do everything. But you just I mean, walk in and he's just tapping away. Yeah. Up with the 20 taps in person. And I'm like, all right, bro. Like I've done a yeah. 10 tap once, you know, I know how it is. Good to right. see you. Good to see you. But <laughs> like, I talked to him a little bit at KBC, but it's like, yeah. it's like, we're, I mean, I mean, I know what he's trying to, I mean, I know what he's doing. He's there. He's, he's there to win. And he's like, he's not really there to like talk to too many people. He has his own squad. Um, but that's usually, I, mean, like, dude, I was, I was, uh, I was lucky enough to jam with him and like his squad the next day, like in yeah. the pressures off, he won and yeah. he wasn't still, was it Mr. Chit Chat? Like he, yeah. uh, just dumped this bag of kandamas. I think a lot of them that he won, but a lot of, I, I feel like what he does is just like, he has like 20 fresh setups and then just kind of picks and chooses between them to see what the best tap dama is, you know? And, Dude, uh, but he so was just problems. like that. That's when he was, he hit that four, 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 yeah. eight, four, yeah. four, four, four. And he was just like lacing and he was sweating, going hard, but like had this really confident energy, you know, but still, even with his close friends, like he was kind of yeah. like, like the, Everyone's talking to him, like all the even the Japanese squads, like oh, this dude's the man. But then he just would kind of say some small, little like, quick statements, you know, and then kind of keep playing, you know. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. I never saw him relax really. Like he never really relaxed. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, one hundred percent. He's like when he's at a competition, he's like, well, he's there for one reason. Like he's not really, yeah. he didn't really try to talk to you. He's like he he has fun on stage for sure. Like you can see him smile on stage and whatnot. And I'm not gonna say he's emotionless, but. Um, yeah. yeah he's a goal and i mean he's just not the most talkative dude right now i'd say yeah but, yeah i mean like, he's only what 17 18 16 yeah he just he's just graduated middle school and he's just in college or sorry in high school now so he's he i don't know i don't know i don't know what that is like what is that 14 15 16 16 okay yeah Wait, maybe. 15 to 16 so i think i think he's 16 yeah okay 17, yeah 18. so yeah obviously in the future he might open up more but and yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. you know, he doesn't speak much English either. But yeah, it doesn't sound like even in Japanese, he is a talkative guy. But yeah, anyway, so uh, the event, um, how were you yeah. feeling that day? Uh, what was going through your head? I filmed, I secretly filmed you practicing for like 30 minutes. And you were hitting yeah. five still after five still. I was so pumped to see that. Yeah. yeah. And you're, you're hitting your runs, good. you seem confident, but yeah. I was feeling good. No, I mean, uh, and like I said, I... I I mean, I was really bummed to not hit the five stills on stage and you could see it in my face uh, or at the buzzer. Yeah. They say one zero. I, I set it up on still. Everyone's waiting for me to just try it because it's, it's the buzzer. Quiet. It's, it's quiet. So it's quiet. So quiet. I was like, I was like, I was like quiet on the Western front. Yeah. I was like, man, if I landed this right now, that would be the hypest thing ever. And then I missed <laughs> and it. It, was, it hit and then it just missed off. I know. I like, it was so close. It was so close. And that was your, like, you only got one chance as well, right? I, only, I got two. But you do? Okay. I, okay. I, I, I was definitely messing up on some other tricks in uh, my run prior to it, but like in throughout, but uh, yeah. I, and I mean, I was bummed. You could see it on my face. I was really disappointed. I was like, shit, but I walked off that stage knowing like, you know, I, I practiced, I've said, I, I said, I'd practice these past couple of months. I did. I hit my, I hit my run when they called our group, group C, every time somebody else went, I did my run with them and I hit it full yeah. marks single time every single time every single time i did it right before i went up there i hit full marks every single time it's so insane dude it's and so I, brutal yeah i know it's tough and then i go up there and i miss them like well it's it sucks but i mean i can't really be too sad knowing that i you know gave it you know everything yeah. i had and I was doing and i felt good that day it's just sometimes it's just not your day um so yeah I, mean, I felt cool. good practicing i felt good practicing but i feel like my mindset um after was pretty nice i mean i was so glad to be done you know yeah. i went up there and bombed you know i, I the practice definitely showed um, yeah and, and but i was just glad to you know relax and start you know watch the last group of you know 
Takia and, and, and Maharu go and, and you know so and then and Shinosuke yeah, sure. and all and Yasu, you know, they, they all had like in Madi, they all had like these really extremely high runs, so they're in the last group. Yeah, they're trying to get the points. And I was just so nice, you know, so nice to you know get over it. Usually, um, when I don't do well, or I used to be like, you know, I used to be really kick myself and be like, fuck, like I I needed to win yeah. or like I needed to do get everything, but it's like I'm at this point in, in Kanama right now. It's like, well, and with anything in life, it's like, well, as long as you did what you say you're going to do and and you put in the effort then whatever the, the outcome is it's just i mean it's just what it is yeah. you know the most important it's a very thing mature is- way to look at it and i remember when i was younger if i messed something up i didn't really play kanama when i was younger but i really beat myself up about it but nowadays if i i can get mad a little bit after like i practiced really hard open division for a certain event and i didn't do as well yeah. as i thought i would yeah, yeah, yeah. but I mean, the, yeah, no, the feeling quickly wrong. passes. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Losing doesn't feel good for anybody most of the time. Yeah. You know, like, nobody's going to feel like, fuck yeah, I lost. Like, you know, unless I don't really yeah. care at all. But, um, yeah, I just feel like I'm just more of just was um, kind of proud of myself for putting in the work and then, you know, being good that whole day, feeling confident, like being like, yeah. okay, I have to run that I can hit. Like, I, I know I can do it. And yeah. instead of overreaching, like if I would have overreached, I would have been like, oh shit, I messed up. Like I would have been mm. a little more, I, I felt confident and sometimes it just falls through and that's okay. And yeah, I mean, the day I got fifth and I honestly, I've, I've, I was hyped because I was like, hell yeah, like not too shabby. I've, I've gotten fifth at KDBC. It made me realize like, wow, like I've gotten top five at KDBC every single year, except for my first year that I've competed in. Wow. So I was like, wow, like that's, you know, hell yeah. I made it another year. So yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, and at the end of the day, too, I mean, you have if you want to look at your Kanama ability, how much you progressed from practicing those three months. Yeah. For me, like, when I when I practice really hard for an open division, after that, I'm so much more honing. I, I, there's so many more tricks I just learned, you know, that I just got, like, really good at. And now I'm able to, like, really push them into my brain and yeah. be, like, super consistent with them, you know? Yeah, and also just prove – and also you just prove yourself, like, you can do the work. Like, you can do yeah. the work. I mean, yeah. I mean you, people just don't i mean a lot of people can look at players and be like oh shit that guy's just talented or or something like that yeah. but it, it's almost never the case i mean they just play they just put in way more hours than you and yeah and you know if you want to be good then the, the hard reality is you just have to put the hours in and, and as long as you you know prove to yourself that you can actually work towards a goal and put the hours in then well i think that's a win in itself i, I feel like because yeah. people are convinced they can but if, i mean if, if you put in the hours to, in the practice for economic competition despite the result then it's like well, I mean, you just proved to yourself that you can go the distance and at least yeah. prepare. I mean, you just prepare. If you didn't prepare, well, that's on you. You, you prepare to fail. Yeah. You're not, if, you, if you fail to prepare, yeah. you're prepared to fail. And then, um, but if you did the work, then, well, that's yeah. that's pretty respectable because not everyone can do that. Not everyone can do that. Yeah. So no. that's good. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's a great feeling to yeah. like set a goal. You know, you get motivated in the beginning when the tricks come out and you set a goal to do something every day. And it's a great feeling on that last day when you hit your practice and mm. you go to the event and you're like, yeah, let's see what happens. I don't know, but I feel really good that I committed myself to this amount of time, you know? No, 100%. And yeah. and some people will be like, and people will look at you and sometimes if they're not as competitive or they don't care as much about the same things you do in, in Kanama or, or whatnot, but they're like, well, what if you put on all that work and, you know, it doesn't go your way? Like, well, yeah. well then, well, would that be a waste of time? It's like, well, no, you know, no, <laughs> like, no you just got, you just, you, you progressed. You got like, so much better. Yeah. You got so much better. And you, you just proved to yourself that you can actually go the distance and not only Kanama, but other things in your life. It's like, yeah, like you can channel that energy. Like, it's just, yeah. there's, res- there's some, there's respect. There's just like a certain respect. Some people could like, like have earned over time or like who are, who I like view if they like, if they really care about what they, they're trying to like, be good at or proficient at if they put really put in the work and actually show that they care. And then I mean, I don't care about the result at the end of the day. It's like, are you, yeah. do you, are you, if you give this much of a shit, well then that's amazing. Cause not everyone yeah. gives cares about something as much as you do like right there with Kanama. So it's like, it's yeah. pretty respectable. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Are you doing a NAKO this weekend? I'm just doing performance. Oh yeah. Okay. It's, but not, it's also the time thing, right? Yeah. I'm not doing, I'm not doing, but you get up really yet. early. So, really no but i work that day and okay. it's double right, there you go and yeah i actually don't but but even if i get up early i don't even think i there's no guarantee i'd even make my first match on time i've looked at the starting oh, okay. date 
Yeah, yeah. no, it's like, it's tough. It's it's tough with the time difference. And don't get me wrong. There's a lot of Japanese people playing, you know, competing. Is there? Online. And like, if you check the Soul Squad, like, dude, there's like... Oh, yeah, yeah. People playing from Soul. Um, and there's like Nonika and Kengar, you know, doing it and, and, and so's doing it. And Zach, I mean, Zach, well, okay. Zach's not in Japan, but Zach's doing it. Um, for me, it's just like, I don't know if I could actually confidently be it, be in it until the end. Um, yeah. not, I'm not saying like last till the finals, like when, but like, I'm just saying like, even be present. Cause I also work that day and yeah, you know, it's just, it's tough. I don't want to, I don't want to say something. I don't want to like enter and then be, and then just bail and be and like, Nick, bail, yeah. Here. It's like I well, why did I have you to work. Like, it, it's tough, but um yeah, I just decided to not do it this year. Yeah. Uh the other day I just said, you know, it's actually probably not optimal for me to do it. Um, but I am just gonna try and submit like a performance, like a freestyle thing uh later. So um have you yeah. done that yet? No, the deadline's tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah. You know, uh, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and get that up. I hope I hope I uh I hope I'm able to. So yeah, I think I think tomorrow today, like you have to submit two, so I have to film. Yeah, two I'll be able to do it. Yeah, tomorrow for Dude, sure. You're one, I think. In was it 2020 that you hit the uh, one, two, three, four, five stunt? Oh, was uh, that was 2021, and that was 2021. Was only one, two, three, four. <laughs> it was. Oh, sorry. All five. Sorry. Going yeah. to toot your horn. No, no, no. Is there is there a clip of that anywhere online? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's um. It's tough to find on my Instagram because it's on your I think Instagram. It's... Yeah, it's on my Instagram. It's in 2021. It's on like Have a you looked at that clip in a while? What's up? Have you watched that in a while? No, but I watched my 2020 uh one the other day. <laughs> Which one was more impressive to you? Which one do you uh um I'm not like my my 2020 or 2021? Is that your question? Yeah. Shoot, I don't know. I, I I like my 2020 ones because I don't know, they're just they're uh I just felt like I had a good session and I was able to knock them out super fast. <laughs> but it was it was like yeah, crazy. But, um I did them so quick and and but for 2021 I definitely like thought of like a line and stuff and like thought of what to do because it's you know you can do that. Here I'll send you the I'll just send you it over. Send it to me on a uh... I'm send it to Lotus Kendamas because okay. I'm gonna pull it up and we can watch it. Okay, here you go. So my first clip on that post is round two. I think I was able to get second in freestyle. Yeah, dude. I remember this being insane. So you did you end up getting second. Okay, so the first round got you into qualifiers and then you got second. Yeah. Was this one the Albert one? Uh no, honestly, I think Misu won this this year. Yeah, that's right. She did like a tower of orbit. It's like, all right, like, yeah, you gotta do that. <laughs> all right, let's check this out. Oh god, I'm not sure I remember that. Wait, wait sorry, oh. I need it. I need to focus up. In terms of volume off. No, all good. right. Ooh, that's six. The backflip. Nice. Yeah, that's as we're just inward swing up to a backflip. No, I was trying, to, yeah, because it was a backflip line, so I tried to uh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm using a G shape too. Nice, it's like a year before so, they really. So, what's your like philosophy? Is it just hit it first, hit a banger, and then just kind of like keep the run going? Because <laughs> I was talking to mine today, and it was like kind of like that. Yeah, no, for this, for this, I wanted to hit that first tilt line. And then I think after that, it was like, all right, let's just, let's just do whatever I can to just not miss it. But also, yeah, I, I like to try to start with at least one trick that I know I'm going to do or two. And then after that, it's like, how can I keep this yeah. alive? So. All right. And then, uh, you're, you your slide over. Yeah. Well, this was my final one. This is my prelim actually. Oh, okay. Lighting's a yeah, little shit. This here. is, this is crazy, bro. Was it? I my string actually got my my string actually got t tangled up midway, so I couldn't actually do crazy tricks. There's at not the many end, people but... that have stunts unlock like that, especially like a quad stunt. Do you still have that unlock? Like, can you still hit that? A quad stunt like that? No, just like one, two, three, four, like that quickly. I mean, that consistently. I mean, I 
I mean, I'd say I'm still decent at them. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, Sick, yeah. I still, I still it's, do them, you know, <laughs> such a trick that, uh, I don't know. I feel like not a lot of people can do it. I like even tap players. So it's, yeah. it's and this, this is my, uh, this is where my like, string was messed up. So obviously I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to miss. I was like, what am I doing? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So no, nah, but that's a beautiful <laughs> trick. I love Wait, I'm gonna see the beginning again. Oh, it's cool from Lighthouse. Creativity points. Yeah, and then the train. Oh, that's then, so I, sick, dude. After that, I was like, all right, let's just keep this alive real quick. Yeah, yeah. Because then you're, you're doing jump my, downs. I, I went into spacewalks because I was trying to get my string untangled. Right there. And then it did, didn't wow. work. Wow. No. Yeah, that thing is really wrapped around. Yeah, yeah, and you're like, okay, just save it. I was like, okay, boom. I go over here, big cup, bird, small cup. I don't, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what do you do? Like, like, I had a single whirlwind, inward. Yeah, inward whirlwind, gunslinger. Like, what am I doing? Yeah, just spiking. And then I missed right there and I cut it out. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. What's your What's your plan for uh, for this? This? Do you have any tricks in mind? What you want to do? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I definitely. Quinn still. Yeah, wouldn't that be hilarious? All right, freeze cow. I mean, why not? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, still flip to start, and then just see whatever I do. <laughs> but then you have like 10 seconds left. <laughs> that trick yeah, takes yeah. a while, you know? Yeah. yeah, you like grind, you like go for your hardest bang. You just actually go out and like don't like a hard trick. It takes you hours. You finally <laughs> land it, and you're like, hell yeah. And then like yeah. the next four seconds, you have to be like, all right, shit, wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, dude. Yeah, but no, I'll do. I'll, yeah, no, I'll, I might throw some stilts, like a quince stilt up in there, and then I'll do some swivels. I like. I think swivels are pretty underutilized right now, so that would give me some points. But yeah, you definitely yeah. created big points for that. Yeah, yeah. The more, I mean, I just kind of want to. I mean, I told myself I was going to get something out there. I can't compete in the open, so I want to at least do performance. So I, if whatever happens, whatever I can get up, I, I'm going to be, you know, satisfied with. Right. Um, yeah, just whatever ends up happening. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, I just, just want to participate. So, yeah. Who are you uh, watching these days on Instagram? If you're watching anybody, who do you, uh, who, who are you liking uh, playing right now? Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't really watch too many. You know, I'm kind of, I don't really use Instagram like I used to back in the, you know, uh, a couple months ago, I, I started getting off of it a lot cause I was just spending way too much time on it, but I'll tell you what, I never miss a post from Takya. That guy always shows up on my homepage and yeah. it's always, and like, there's some people who will just show up and you'll be like, you'll be like, Oh fuck, he posted again. And then he'll just <laughs> melt your brain. Like, like it's just yeah. always nice to see a clip from Takya because I mean, there's just, they're also really, just really high quality. Like they're either GoPro or they're just literally yeah. hand right so, dude so it's like it it's always, always like, a quality post dude 100 percent. it's like if he films with an iphone it's like whoa this is weird <laughs> you know? yeah yeah yeah. That's good, but but um no it's i always i definitely don't ever miss a post from his who else do i look up i also i mean i actually nonoka's clips show up in my feed a lot i mean yeah yeah nonoka i always watch her clips um whatever Oh my God, Ryoga! Holy shit, little little Ryoga! Yeah, he's so oh, fun to watch. I love I his love style. It. I love it. Let's just oh, buy yeah. him out. Oh, it's Ryoga. Yeah, dude, look at those. So but you say, look at that. Do you, you notice his form, like how clean that those taps are, and and uh, like I feel like that, uh, like the little Ryoga's hand is just is so comfortable switching between. Yeah, hands and times and like, stuff. It's so funny. Yeah, it's, to like, watch. it's like you want to look at his form, but you actually just can't help but look at his face. I his, face just, his face just contorts when he just goes to the <laughs> yeah. tap. It's like, it's like he's tapping. It's like, are you good? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but he's just no. He's incredible. He's clearly, and um, he's he's rising up really fast. Like really fast. Really fast. I mean, people already look at him as like talk his successor and like. He's yeah. pushing taps to a different, you know, he's pushing taps as well. The only reason people aren't freaked out by his taps maybe already is because Takia just exists. But I mean, yeah. but, but, but Ryoga can also 
Ryoga can pull up and ten tap in your face anytime he wants. I mean, he yeah. literally did that in my face, and I was like, yeah. I was like, all right, dude, like, what's up, dude? Yeah, I was like, what's up, man? Like, no, good to see you. It's been a while. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, you know, like, why did you become this? Why did you become this good? But no, it's really amazing to watch that kid. And then, yeah, so I watched Takya and, and Ryoga. Like, um, Nonoka's clips. You know, I always see those. Uh, I, I, from from. I honestly only watch like I can only name like Japanese players that I actually constantly like consistently see clips from right now because I guess my Instagram like I just don't like it just sh- telling me like I'm not doesn't prioritize other ones um in my home feed so um yeah I'm also just not scrolling all the time either so but will you go uh, will you go back to a certain player's tricks or watch any edits or not really I I I won't say I watch edits I don't watch edits yeah. right now um if i were to go back through a player shit i mean it's usually I, well i don't i don't like going back through Takia's clips i just see my sometimes i do it and i'm just like god damn this kid's like this kid i mean he's, just, he's uh, yeah all the clips are just so fun to watch i actually haven't watched it in like three weeks so i, I knew that tonight before i go to bed give yourself a dose of that no i mean yeah. the other thing i looked at um um gosh is it Tiblex? yeah i just had yeah. to check down and just see like what the trick his one like. his one recent trick that was the stunt fast pull out that was it's so ahead of the game right now dude oh like, yeah that one was there's a just... there's a lot of top players that are just beginning to stunt fast pull out but he's doing it with like no jugs i think it was <laughs> one one yeah. two three or i no, forgot what it was but man that's when a sick just... trick no, it's stupid. Um, yeah, I'm trying to look at my recent searches. Um, I'd say those players, and then I've been finding, like, I've just been finding out about new players, like in Japan, who I'm. Mm. I feel like I'm pretty well versed with people I know, like, like in yeah. the world, who all the players are. Like, I yeah. more than most people. But then there's like some people I'm just just finding about recently that are just like pretty amazing um i think there's uh yeah i just talked to you about this girl the other day misaki um uh, yep. japan i mean she came to she came to spy she came to like where i live um yep. she stopped by and i was like dang this i thought it was like noah at first like noah from seoul because noah's also really tall and has the same tone of skin they both dress like pretty fashionably and she came and i was like oh that might be noah and then she like i was like oh shit it's actually not and then because like oh they're using a lotus like I actually saw the back, like saw their face. I was like, oh, okay, that's not Noah. It's just somebody else. <laughs> and then <laughs> she's in, I'm outside, I'm playing with the kids and she's in, she's in, she's in spike and she goes like this. And like, she already laced the trick She goes like this. She goes like, trip up, up here. Yeah. It's a swap here. Go yeah. for it. It's a down. And I'm like, and I'm like, yeah, I watched that. I'm like, oh, damn. Yeah. I was yeah. like, I was like, no, like literally, who are you? Like, yeah. I'm, yeah. I don't understand what just happened. What what just happened? So I mean, we I've met her before, but it's been a yeah, while. So she's getting really good. So I watched her clips recently, and yeah, just I wouldn't say anything to like any top players much rather than the people I just said. But then also I'm watching new players right now, kind of come up, um, just more underground. But yeah, that's pretty. Are much you it. well? Can, are you well versed with edits? Edits. Uh, I mean. Uh, uh, when a yeah, big one I drops, will you watch it? Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's well, lately it's like, I mean, sure, no, I'll watch like Maharu's Lotus announcement, you know, I'll watch that, you know, yeah, or like yeah, Alex Mitchell that. edit. No, okay, no, wait, Shh. oh, with Tom, uh, yeah, I mean, I just feel like he's dropped in the in the last three years, he's dropped. You oh, know, a few oh, branching I mean, out. Yeah, you're watching. Oh no, 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 yeah, no, I've, I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah, no, no, yeah, of, okay. course, no of course, I've seen that one. Um, I, I'm not gonna say. I mean, Alex drops a lot of content. You know, sometimes they're like one minute, two minute. You know, yeah, yeah. Of, I'm saying like uh, the the big ones. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. If it's a big edit, like I'll watch it at yeah. least once. You know, I used to be watching edits all the time, like in my like literally religiously growing up. But I wouldn't yeah. say I do it now. Right now, I'll like put an edit on the TV at work and then just have it playing and rolling. You know, as for yeah. background stuff like that like the new like can i say like event videos and stuff and like I'll yeah just yeah yeah okay cool you know, yeah. stuff like that like you know I'm, I'm definitely not like 
I don't like not watch edits, but I'm yeah. I don't sit down as much and be like, oh shit, like let's go. You know, like obviously if it's my friend, I'll definitely watch. If it's a big yeah. edit, you know, been, I'm not gonna watch every single edit that comes out now, but I'll watch yeah, yeah. the big ones and my friends. So all right, I got a question for you then. I'm gonna put you yep. on the spot. Okay. And but this can be more personal. I don't wanna I'm not gonna ask top edits of all time, but to you, you know, over the course of you you playing, what what are your top three favorite edits dude i, did not I know there's going to be one that you're going to forget and you're going to text me later and then you're going to be like damn i forgot no, i did but, not prepared for this i will say though you know you know who has like incredible edits on youtube man they and, the, and they're like almost like you can you you can just keep watching them forever it's like dude dylan westmoreland has yeah. amazing edits I mean, I mean, I mean, such I, good edits. Dude. I mean, like they're yeah. absolutely, and they're and they're so fun to watch. Like even even his ones on, yeah. I would say his Konami USA edits were super fun to watch. And then he had, God, I feel so bad that I'm, you know, I, I can't, I can't. I think it was POV edit three. I think his Chrome yeah. one. Oh man, it was ridiculous. And but his, his insane. I, yeah, his ones that he, his ones that uh he filmed with Konami USA with like TJ back in the day and yeah. Uh, Gosh, they were just so fun to watch, man. Like, uh, yeah, I really hope, yeah, like his edits are amazing. I always, I always remember being like getting hyped and like they'd always come up on the search bar and like the, the recommended. Yeah. God, they were just so fun to watch. So that, you know, Dylan I mean, his is, trick, his trick level is so high, but then also what he does with his tricks in terms of uh, yeah. creativity and like it's, it's really, really cool, you know? No, it, it's, it's amazing. Like, yeah, he's, yeah. he's got some of the best edits out there. A lot of videos nowadays are like events or some specific, you know, a little, they're not just normal edits anymore, but I yeah. mean, his, his normal edits were fucking amazing to watch. So, um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not, I don't really know much else off the top of my head. I mean, Dylan came to mind cause I, I mean, I don't know. I used to watch those edits all the time. I will have to probably text you later. I'm not even, I'm not going to like, say any but like even let's say like back in the day like um when you were fanboying fanboying a few like of 2015 2016 like looking up to people what edits would you continuously put on you remember or no uh it was definitely a lot of like sweets edits um, sweet stuff yeah yeah like sweet stuff like the like the Japan video always hyped me up. Like those those event videos, like going to Japan, always like hype me up and and wanted yeah. like I wanted to go out there and stuff. But that's not really like a that's not really like an edit edit. But uh, if God, I mean, if we wanted to go back, like way back when I was thirteen, I mean, I remember watching like Christian Fraser at a ten, and it was just like. Yeah, it was, it's just, it was a feel good edit. Five minutes, actually ten years old now. Um, yeah, God, it's been for a while. Uh, I used to watch that. I mean, that's super old. Sorry, but um, that's okay. Like, um, what about like the Jake Fisher edit? Uh, for oh, yeah, oh yeah. I mean, obviously, we everyone watched that one. Are you talking about yeah. the one where it filmed with uh John Akins at Spoken at the Spoken event? Uh, I'm thinking about- of the. I forget which one. I think it was. Something with Kenko where he's just in his backyard. Oh, uh, it wasn't in his back. I, I, this one that I'm talking about, it's called, oh, it's Fishing with Jake. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Sorry, you can't. I, sorry. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see that it, yeah. one. I mean, my God, like everyone will watch that one. That's also nine years yeah. old. And he was doing tricks that were just like years ahead of his time. Yeah. So yeah, that, that one was good. So Jake, Dylan, uh, I'd say sweet stuff I was watching. Uh, can I yeah. say always had always always had the best videos i swear like yeah. just the recaps and like just the quality of content on there they, and they, yeah and, and now too they still bring they still bring the fire i mean zach mag's behind yeah. the camera you know it's like crazy dude yeah, that's much better than that so uh, i would say those two for sure i would say i used to watch jake i used to watch dylan i used to watch my own edits if i'm gonna be completely real with you uh, yeah those up too um, which edits I, specifically i mean i have one of my favorites is the is the uh was it the tenure which one or, uh, okay. of you um oh nine year edit oh me nine year edit yeah that's a oh, huge thanks. one i spent a lot that's a, 
<laughs> and then uh out. and then also the one i think i don't know if it was japan or not um well i forget what the edit was called but you're like on the stairs lacing some of the tricks are just kind of like more feel good stuff but other ones are like bangers i forget what edit it is Do you should, is that one mine too yeah we're on the stairs yeah well what's the edit before the nine year like your big oh maybe your pro mod or champ mod or something yeah yeah no it was champ mod edit was oh (laughs) okay that's in my top three i'm sorry that's (laughs) it's just okay it's 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 like it's a vibe that that it's a vibe dude yeah people have messaged me so much like Hey dude, Nick, I've got this on repeat. Like it always gets yeah. me hyped. I've seen this 10 times. It gets me hyped every single time to go play Kanama. And I mean, dude, it's it's a great edit. Like, I mean, yeah. I had I, you know the guy who films Takya? Yeah, he filmed me for two days. And then oh, we that we was made- Vivo. Because the colors in that, I'm just thinking, like, I haven't seen it in a while. So I only forget I remember yeah. a few I remember like it rainy clips. I remember like great yeah. colors, you know, like that was Vivo. Okay, but, that's sick. No, it was it was sweet. No, like it was sweet. And uh um, Viva, what's his name? Viva? His Instagram tag is uh Viva Losaru Saru Viva Yeah Viva Yeah Okay Viva Losaru Yeah Four Yeah Anyway Um He was filming me And we We did it One day And then a couple weeks later We filmed the second day And then Yeah We dropped it On July 4th And it was epic Um Yeah Yeah That's definitely one of my favorite edits I, I definitely That's That's an edit I can show anybody And be like Yeah This one's just This one just Hits Like you know So Yeah that's yeah. one of my favorite edits. Um, I can definitely, you know, if I actually took the time to go think of like my, my favorite edits coming up, I can definitely find one that resonates me more than that. But well, yeah, sorry. Your recent memory, gotta give it to the chat mod edit, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, man. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, cool, dude. I'm uh glad we uh were able to catch up. Really good talk. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it's already been Yeah, thanks for staying Thanks for staying up late. Yeah, definitely no uh I definitely would, yeah, would like to talk again soon, just whenever you, you know, whenever you feel like. You know what? If if I'm going to catch and flow, so if you're able to get time off, maybe we can do a quick one in person. That'd be really fun. You're going to catch and flow. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Yeah, me and Goy. You're going. How are you? Yeah, dude, I'll be there, bro. It's party. You're going to catch and flow. I'm going to catch and flow, dude. From Denmark. From Denmark, yeah. No, yeah, I'm going to Denmark, Denmark to Tokyo, and then going back to New York, and then going to Ohio. How long are you in Tokyo this time? Hopefully more than three days. I like five days. Yeah. So yes, more than three days. So you're welcome. <laughs> I think you might barely be your KDBC or <laughs> uh, Okay. Well, that's sweet, man. No, yeah. Let's, uh, that's cool. Okay. Well, I'll try and, well, now I have to go. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I didn't mention that earlier, but yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Goya, so, go, yeah. Goya's coming. Yeah. Maharu, me. That's, yeah. We got three Lotus guys out there. So. Oh word! Wow, squad. Yeah. squad yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah, well, I'm definitely trying to. I definitely want to go. You know, I'm definitely gonna yeah. do everything I can to go. If I can't, yeah. I'm gonna be sad. That's okay. Uh, yeah, because everyone's gonna be yeah. gathered in Tokyo. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do my best. Yeah, let's, let's try and yeah, we can try and get one in that day. I definitely yeah. like it. Squeak something yeah. in one of those days if it works out. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be sweet. And I just wanna, I just wanna end this um for everyone who was uh listening till the end. I mean, and the shit I was talking about earlier with um. Yeah, the stuff I was talking about earlier with um with um the things that Zach and I are doing right now. If you do want to reach out and just talk to us about anything uh in regards to the things we've mentioned in this interview or the things we've mentioned in our stories, feel free. Um mm-hmm. we're definitely here to try and I don't know, I guess just at least listen to you and try to help you on your journey or forever, whatever that journey might be. And you might not, you know, just giving you someone to talk to about these things. So and they can DM you on Instagram. That's is that the best way to find you? Yeah, DM on Instagram um that's actually the best way yeah i'm not yeah. i won't say anymore because that's yeah that's the way yeah that's okay. the way all right well cool thanks isaac all right uh, talk to you again later man thanks Nick. see you yeah, peace